All right, music fans, uh, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music and unexplainable tragedy. and uh, A number one song, which uh, when you hear it, you'll understand why I think this is an interesting video. And of course, doing all this in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, um, before I get into this video, um, it's just a super sad situation when you realize what the lyrics to a song are about and tying it into something that happened. Um, this is an album I uh, showcased last year. I don't buy a lot of CDs uh, that aren't in the melodic rock realm, but this is pop and rock and soul and all kinds of different things mixed together. This is Cochran and Company. The album is called Running Home. And uh, those sneakers on the cover, I don't think those are the same ones that uh, Donald Trump was selling over the weekend. So you get the title track, which is great. There are a whole bunch of songs on here that will lift your spirits and uh, make your feet kind of move around a little bit. Um, he's got a brand new song out called Parking Lot, which is on the radio right now and on certain radio stations. But anyway, Cochran and Company, uh, really good, very soulful, great vocals. I kind of love that kind of gritty sound, and that's what he's got. So, all right, um, let's talk uh, classic Christian radio. Toby Mac has been basically um, carrying most of Christian radio on his back now for the last 30 years since the days of DC talk, when I was a DJ in Christian radio, um, I mean, when you mentioned DC talk, every kid in the world was, was paying attention, you know, with all of the old fuddy duddy Christian music that had been part of, uh, the radio landscape, uh, up until that point, DC talk, jars of clay, third day. These were bands that just changed everything. Uh, for Christian radio. And there was a lot of really good, high quality, well-produced uh, Christian music. Dan Huff, the guitarist um, and producer, he was involved in so much of that stuff. And if you go back and listen to it, it's mostly holding up pretty well. Some of it is cheesy, uh, even by my standards. Some of it is cheesy, but some of it is really, really good. So Toby Mac, though, a legend, um, has another number one song on the radio right now called Faithfully. Uh, no, it's not a remake of the song by Journey. Um, the lyrics in this song are very powerful. And I want to read um, the first verse in the chorus. He says, it's been a long year. It almost took me down, I swear. Life was so good. I'm not so sure we knew what we had. I'll never be the same man. I'll never feel like I felt before. It's been a hard year. It almost took me down. But when my world broke into pieces, you were there faithfully. When I cried out to you, Jesus, you made a way for me. I never, I may never be the same man, but I'm a man who still believes. When I cry out to you, Jesus, you were there faithfully. So you're thinking to yourself, yeah, kind of sounds like a song of faith. And I'm not sure what happened to Toby Mac and why is he writing this song? Well, if you didn't know this, a Toby Mac's son died of an accidental drug overdose at the age of 21. And so I'm pretty sure these lyrics have something to do with his son passing away. Toby Mac is reflecting on the death of his 21-year-old son, Truett Foster McKeon. And if you didn't know, Toby Mac's real name is Kevin Michael McKeon. Anyway, uh, Truett, an inspiring rapper, died of an accidental drug overdose in October of 2019. And this is what he says to People Magazine. He says, I will forever be a different man, which is a lyric right from the song. Um, I thought honestly with my five kids and my bride that I had the perfect life and now we're really messy. It's not so neat anymore. Toby Mac, 57, 
recalled watching Truett perform at a local venue in Tennessee a week before he died. I live across the street from where he did his last show, and there's a restaurant over there, and some days I go to the restaurant and I just look over at the patio where I last saw him, and I gave him a big hug and said, I'm so proud of you. And he says, I just cry. <laughs> this is brutal. Um, the seven-time Grammy winner, that's pretty amazing, said that he and his wife, Amanda Levy McKeon, were aware of Truett's struggles with substance abuse. It wasn't something that we thought was okay, but we didn't think it was an urgent problem, I guess, he explained. Sounds like there's a lot of regret there. I do think that he knew where we stood on it and wanted to honor us, so that was a battle that he fought. The couple now faces challenges head on. They hold weekly meetings with their 20-year-old twins, Moses and Marley, and sons Leo, 17, and Judah, 16. No topic is off limits. We just look at each other in the eyes and talk about the hard things. That's been special to our family and needed. Truett was their hero, so it's hard. Do we all know that we made a mistake? Absolutely. We all know what happened. So there is a ton of regret here that they didn't pay more attention to this problem. The day after Truett died, Toby Mac paid tribute on Instagram to his late son. Truett Foster McKeon had joy that took the room when he entered. He was a magnetic son and brother and friend. If you met him, you knew him, you remembered him. His smile, his laugh, the encouragement he offered with words or even without. He had an untamable grand personality and dreams to match. And he hated being put in a box. So Truett's family set up a foundation called the Truett Foster Foundation, which raises money to help kids pursue an education in music. According to People Magazine, the organization has so far put three people through college. And this article was back in 2022. So my guess is um, the foundation has probably helped more people than just the three that they mentioned here. So when you hear this song faithfully on the radio, it's not just a generic song about how God is faithful to us. It's about a man who's got real faith, because if I were in his situation, I have no idea. I don't think I can handle it the way he handled this. And he's a public figure, and everybody's looking to him like, okay, you're supposed to be the, the good Christian, and uh, how could this happen to a Christian family? There are a lot of rebels uh, who you know rail against their parents when their parents are trying to instill Christian values and ideas. And it's a natural thing for human beings to be constantly rebellious. Like, don't tell me what to do. Even if it's good for me, don't tell me what to do. Eventually, you have to discover on your own. And unfortunately, uh, this young man wasn't able to figure that out before he died. So anyway, a really super sad situation. Um, I don't think Toby Mac will ever be the same again. How, how could you be? Anyway, before I go, here is Cochran and Company, some good quality Christian music for you. The album, Running Home, and uh, the new song is called Parking Lot. It's out on the radio now. Um, you know, some days you need to hear words that inspire rather than like empty calories, which you'll hear in most music. Uh, the good thing about a lot of Christian music, not all of it, I know some of it has its problems, and then we can get into theological arguments about some of it, right? But at least it's not bringing you down for the most part. It's lifting you up, and it's making you realize what's truly important, God, family, and then whatever else after that, but it's God and family. Those are the two most important things. All right, folks, uh, thanks for watching. Sorry for the uh, Debbie Downer video here, but uh, Toby Mac, man, that's, uh, that's rough. See you soon.